Hey guys, uh, this is Katie Jarman. Um, I wanted to show you guys how to get uh, custom colors on this shape. This is my um, printable happy birthday banner that's in the Silhouette Design Store. Um, and you know, I already did six colors um, for the printable banner, but if the birthday party you're throwing doesn't have these colors or you want, you know, just something unique or maybe a pattern thrown in there, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we open up our shape and um, these are all grouped together. As you can see, if I click and I drag it around, these are all grouped. Um, in order to change the color, we need to ungroup them. So go down into this lower left corner and click on ungroup selected shapes. And now I'm just going to click and drag to select these guys and press delete to delete. So we have our one shape here. Now I'm going to go up to this, um, this rotate tool and hold shift on my keyboard and just rotate it so it's easier for me to work with. So we've got our shape right here. We need to ungroup it further in order to uh, edit the colors. So we click on ungroup again down in the corner and now we have this. I'm just gonna undo that. We have like our cut line, we have our words, and we have our banner. I'm gonna click on the banner and I'm gonna click on ungroup again. So now we have our middle piece and we have our flags on like the edges and then we have those shadow parts. So we have those three pieces that we are now going to color. So there's a couple options you can um, of ways you can do this. Um, the best way is to go into this fill color window and Silhouette already has all of these color swatches for you. Um, I'm liking this olive color so we're going to choose that choose this, and choose this. So what I just did, you can click on any shape that you have and you can change the color of it. You can click on any of these swatches and get the color that you like. And what I'm doing is I'm taking this middle piece and making it the lightest, and these flags a medium, and uh, the shadow, the darkest part of the color. And I like to choose just like one color and go through, but if you want to, if you want to switch it up a bit, go for it. You can also then go down into advanced and you can use this color picker here which also works. Um, so yeah, so that's basically how you get how you just change the main color. You can also change the color of the text here if you'd like. Um, so yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, another option for you guys is um, you guys can do gradients if you want. I'm not a huge fan of that, but if you are, awesome. You can also do fill pattern. So you can basically just come in here and choose a pattern that you like and you think is cute. I think that's cute, but we're obviously going to have to change the color of the text. So we go back into here and we'll make this an orange. Sure. And these flags, I don't know, it's not totally meshing for me, so we're going to change the color of that as well. Um, they have this cool thing called the eyedropper tool. You click on this little tool over here and anywhere on the artwork you can choose. You can basically pick a color out of it. So I'm going to do that and I chose that color for these flags. And then we're going to do the same thing. Or you could click over here on this box to the right of the eyedropper tool and it'll change it to whatever color you have already picked with the eyedropper tool. Which is pretty cool. And then you can adjust the slider, make it darker, do whatever you want. I don't know, I'm kind of liking that. So uh, now what you need to do in order to print it out and to cut it, select the whole thing. So click and drag over the whole image. Come down here to group and group the whole thing. You can also press uh, Command G, Control G, something like that. And uh, I like to rotate it back. It's looking good. Um, I'm going to print this out just using a normal piece of printer paper. Current printer, don't forget to turn on registration marks. And then we're going to size this to fit within these bounds. So yeah, that's looking pretty good. So now all I would do is print this out, uh, stick it onto my mat and cut it out, and you've got this really cute banner that you can glue dowels on the back or you could maybe popsicle sticks, I don't know. And stick it in a cake and it looks really cute and it's super simple and super fast. You just print it out and you're good to go. 
So yeah, um, it's a pretty easy thing to do. And you can do it actually with a lot of shapes in the Silhouette Design Store that are um, print and cut shapes. Um, it doesn't work with all of them. It kind of depends on how the designer set up the shape to begin with. Um, but you can always try it out and, see, and ungroup things and see if you can change the colors to get um, to get what you'd like. So yeah, um, I hope this helps and I hope it, you know, inspires you guys to try other things with print, print and cut shapes. Uh, if you have any questions, if you're stuck on anything, let me know and I can help you out. Alright, thanks guys. Bye.